As school started back last week in Pike County, the family of Shaylee Cobb had to face the first day of school without her. But remembering her smile seemed to make it a little easier. I can show you pictures. you never seen a child not smile. She was always smiling. She was just always laughing. She was always playing. I try to make her laugh as much as I can to take away from the pain and, and anything that was going on with her. She, that's just one thing that was so beautiful about her was her laugh. I mean, anybody who knows her knows that her laugh just brought so much joy. You know, watching your, your kid go through, you know, pain and, and hurt and it, it, it's, it's heavy. Shaylee Cobb died July 24th after a long battle that started just before Christmas. Through blood work, they found something that was concerning. And then it was like, bam, she has leukemia. Shaylee needed a bone marrow transplant, and her father, C.J. Cobb, was a six out of 10 match. And he found the process of donating bone marrow is much simpler now than it used to be. They have a, the machine, like a kidney dialysis machine that um, they, you know, hook it up to your arm basically and filter your blood out and get the blood cells through that way. Four or five hours, they get the cells that they need. Uh, occasionally, if they need more cells, they will just call you back and you just do the same thing again. But there is a low success rate for related donors and the search for a donor began. And even though lots of people signed up to be a potential donor for Shaylee, a match was not found in time. It's very avoidable if people just start registering on bethematch.org and it's easy. I did it. I did it the first day she got diagnosed. I, my whole family did. But I just need people to understand it's not instantaneously. It takes six to eight weeks to, to yeah. get on that registry. So it's important to do it before someone is sick. That way they have a chance and like Shaylee, you know, they did find her a match on the registry eventually, but she was already too sick. You know, they found her a match in Australia, but the day she was supposed to have donated her cells is the day Shaylee passed away. Despite their loss, the Cobbs continue to be advocates for bone marrow donation with the hope that they can spare another family from losing a child. It doesn't cost you anything. They send it straight to your house, the uh, kit. All you have to do is swab your cheek and then put it in a tube and then send it back in. Like I said, this is information that months ago I didn't know. If it wasn't for my daughter, I wouldn't know it. So I know it now and I wanna share it. I don't wanna just let my daughter's death fall by the wayside. CJ Cobb says the worst part of the last nine months was knowing that every day he could lose his child tomorrow. But it's sad that tomorrow came. You know, and I'm gonna keep telling her story and I'm gonna keep trying to get more people to help. That's what I wanna do. I wanna keep trying to get people to help. To take the first step toward being a bone marrow donor, go to be the match.org. You just wait and hope that you can save a life, you know. It's, it's that simple.